World War II, a pivotal moment in history, has spawned some of the most powerful and impactful movies. These films reveal heroism, sacrifice, and the brutal realities of war, offering a glimpse into a world-changing era. In today's video, we will discuss 15 best World War II movies of all time. At number 15, we have The Battle of Britain. This film offers a gripping portrayal of the critical moments during the summer of 1940 when the Royal Air Force valiantly defended Britain from the relentless German Luftwaffe, keeping them from crossing the English Channel and invading England. It's a must-watch, especially for armchair pilots who love aerial dogfights and vintage planes. A miracle was achieved by a courageous few. This movie captures the courage and resilience of RAF pilots and the remarkable efforts they made to thwart the German air attacks, making it an engaging historical account of this epic struggle in the skies and the determination of the British to resist the Nazi invasion. Fury. Run now. We're still in this fight. Still in this fight. At number 14, we have Fury. This World War II film follows a battle-hardened tank commander and his crew as they embark on a deadly mission behind enemy lines in Nazi Germany. Their tank, named Fury, becomes both their shield and their weapon in the intense, gritty, and often brutal combat of the war. As they push deeper into enemy territory, they face overwhelming odds and witness the horrors of war up close, testing their loyalty and resilience. They're coming! How many? 300 of them! It's five against 300. Fury is a raw and visceral portrayal of the camaraderie and sacrifices made by the soldiers in the heart of World War II. Dunkirk. <laughs> At number 13, we have Dunkirk. This film centers on the intense evacuation of British and Allied troops from the beaches of Dunkirk during World War II. It's a gripping portrayal of the harrowing events as soldiers try to escape the encircling enemy forces. The movie is known for its intense and suspenseful sequences, where survival takes precedence over individual character development. The actor primarily associated with the film's main character is a young soldier trying to find a way home amidst the chaos and danger of the Dunkirk evacuation. <laughs> Dunkirk is directed by Christopher Nolan and is known for its visually stunning and immersive storytelling. Stalingrad Fire! At number 12, we have Stalingrad, a German film that's beautifully shot. It's not your typical war movie because it doesn't focus on the big picture of the battle. Instead, it zooms in on the individual German soldiers as they make their way through Russia to Stalingrad. The film is all about their personal stories, the bonds they form, and the harsh reality of a war they never wanted to be part of. It shows the gritty and tough side of war. Right in the heart of Stalingrad, where both German and Soviet forces clashed in one of the deadliest conflicts in history, Stalingrad gives you a real sense of the courage and endurance these soldiers displayed in the midst of the city's ruins. The Thin Red Line Nothing can touch me. No hurt, no grief, not even death. At number 11, we have The Thin Red Line a film that reimagines the fictionalized version of the Battle of Mount Austin during World War II's Pacific Theater. Directed by the brilliant Terence Malick, this movie is renowned for its breathtaking cinematography, offering one of the most visually striking portrayals of war ever captured on screen, despite its nearly three hour in time. Make no difference who you are. No matter how much training you got, how tough a guy you might be, you're in the wrong spot. At the, the Thin Red Lion stands out as a philosophical and thought-provoking take on war, as it delves into the complexities of the human experience during times of conflict. Letters from Iwo Jima. 
選挙区最後の関東に直面せり残ってるのはライフルだけです今や弾丸付き見せかれ At number 10 We have letters from Iwo Jima, a film that masterfully portrays the Battle of Iwo Jima during World War II from the Japanese perspective. In contrast to its American counterpart, Flags of Our Fathers, which explores the same historical event, Letters from Iwo Jima offers a more focused and empathetic lens on the Japanese forces defending the island due to its proximity to Tokyo. Let's go! The film underlines the Japanese soldiers as victims with a justifiable cause to protect their homeland, akin to how America responded during the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Train, 1964. You dump, you old goat! Get out of there and get under cover! Get off my train! You damn fool, you're ready to fire for 30 seconds! Get off my train! At number 9, we have The Train, a thrilling movie set during World War II. With the Allies on the brink of retaking Paris, a German colonel plans to sneak out stolen art treasures on a train. But a French museum curator tips off the resistance, and railway inspector Paul Labici gets involved. He cleverly changes the names of train stations and reroutes the train to outsmart the German colonel. It's a suspenseful race to save France's precious art, filled with heroism and sacrifice during a critical moment in history. Inglorious Bastards. All our rotten eggs in one basket. The objective of the operation blow up the basket. At number eight is Inglorious Bastards, directed by Quentin Tarantino. This thrilling film follows a group of Jewish U.S. soldiers, led by the charismatic LT. Aldo Rain, on a daring mission to assassinate top Nazi officials during World War II. Their mission coincides with the efforts of a local theater owner, Shozana Dreyfus, seeking her own revenge against the Nazis, with Tarantino's signature blend of comedy, drama, and adventure. This movie offers an incredibly entertaining experience. Christoph Waltz delivers a remarkable performance. Empire of the Sun. At number seven, we have Empire of the Sun, an adaptation of J.G. Ballard's autobiographical novel, directed by Steven Spielberg. This war drama unfolds in Shanghai during the outbreak of World War II. Where we follow the poignant journey of a British boy named Jim from a privileged background. When Japanese forces seize all foreigners and confine them in prison camps, Jim undergoes a heart wrenching separation from his parents. Fortunately, he finds an unlikely protector in Basie, a resourceful American hustler skilled in the art of survival. Jim's enduring fascination with airplanes keeps his spirits unbroken and his hope for tomorrow alive within the confines of the camp. He explores hidden corners and learns tricks to make his camp life less dreary. A bridge too far. Two days, they said. We've been here nine. Why don't we just try to brush through? Number six on our list is A Bridge Too Far, an underrated Wii film that is committed to historical detail. Based on Cornelius Ryan's book of the same name, The movie tells the story of the failed Allied invasion of Holland in 1944, a plan devised by British General Sir Bernard Montgomery as the Allies raced to end the war by Christmas. Richard Attenborough's direction does a remarkable job detailing Operation Market Garden and the reasons for its failure. Being or dying is. Well, if you don't look at him right now, he's going to die. Dead now. While also switching perspectives between British, American, and Polish elements as Montgomery's plans slowly unravel, the film's authenticity extends to its characters as well did B. Tavam Warder, a real life soldier who used an umbrella as a weapon, inspired the film's iconic umbrella wielding British paratrooper, Harry Carlyle. Does Boot. Number 5 on our list is Das Boot, directed by Wolfgang Peterson. This unforgettable cinematic masterpiece takes you deep into the heart of World War II. Set aboard a German U boat, 
This gripping film immerses you in the treacherous world of submariners as they navigate the relentless Atlantic Ocean. With meticulous attention to detail, director Wolfgang Peterson captures the claustrophobic tension, harrowing combat, and the psychological toll of war. Hacks Orich. Better come home to me. Please, Lord. Help me get one more. Coming in at number four is Hacks Orich from 2016. This movie, directed by Mel Gibson, is a standout in his career and features some of the best performances from its actors. It tells the true story of Desmond Doss, a man who wanted to serve in the army despite his strong belief in nonviolence. The film follows his life, from falling in love to his time in World War II, where he showed incredible bravery in saving over a hundred of his fellow soldiers during a tough battle in Japan. The movie proves that a soldier can make a big difference in war without even carrying a gun. Schindler's List They say your factory is a haven. They say you are good. Number two, we have Schindler's List, Steven Spielberg's cinematic masterpiece. It's a cultural landmark that has drawn both praise and criticism. The film, led by Liam Neeson as Oscar Schindler, a Notley party member turned savior, primarily focuses on the remarkable story of saving 1,200 Jews from concentration camps during the Holocaust. It doesn't shy away from portraying the horrors of that time. By law, I have to tell you, sir, I'm a Jew. Well, I'm a Jew. So there we are. Schindler's gradual awakening to the atrocities and his subsequent efforts to use his resources for the greater good create a powerful narrative. In the end, he's haunted not by the lives he saved, but by the ones he couldn't. Come and see. At number one on our list is Come and See, a Soviet anti-war film that portrays the brutal Notley occupation of Belarus during World War II. The film follows the story of Flyora, a young Belarusian teenager who joins the resistance movement against the Nazis and witnesses the atrocities inflicted upon his region. Based on a 1977 memoir, Come and See is a stark vision of the cruelty committed by the Nazis in Eastern Europe. <laughs> The film's use of surreal sequences reflects the absurdity of war and is contrasted with scenes of harrowing beauty. The perspective of a child adds an even more upsetting layer to the atrocities Flyora witnesses, making come and see a gut-wrenching and unforgettable film. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.